Well, I think this forklift battery is officially dead now. And this is the lead acid battery, the 3000 pound battery. But if you listen real carefully, you can hear a gurgling water boiling sound coming out of every battery cell. Let me see if I can uh, flip the uh, screen and you can hear it for yourself. Interesting. I find nothing interesting in the fact that we're about to blow up. No. So half of these battery cells are probably bad and since they're still bust together the good battery cells are dumping their power into the bad battery cells and both of them are heating up to the point where the the fluid the acid and water solution is starting to boil off i can't change the laws of physics inside of the battery cells themselves Mix temperature 7,400 degrees. Eight thousand degrees. She'll blow soon. So I think what I'm going to do is run the Forklift a little bit to discharge this battery to drop the potential energy inside of it and maybe it'll stop uh, literally boiling itself or cooking itself off. We'll either catch them or we'll blow up, Captain. <laughs> Wish me luck. So I'm trying to drain this battery down. It was in the orange area, or like middle of the, of the charge. When I left before dinner, when I came back, it's back in the green. Um, you know, so obviously as the battery is completely dead, it should stop cooking itself, hopefully, but, um, I may have to do some more running of the, of the fork to help drain the battery some more. So let's lift up. Now, Mr. Sudo. battery doesn't hold much capacity anymore, so hopefully I can just... Tip being forward and back. So we can drive forward and back too. <laughs> have to see what that warning means. It's still a bag, but not full. Oh, this whole thing's kind of goofy. I do have new batteries, lithium ion batteries to stick on this thing, but that'll be a whole project in itself. This thing's goofy. Oh, it's telling me the brake is off. Turn it back on. And I can go forward. The, the foot brake works.
Well, we'll see what happens. Now we'll turn off the fan on that robot. See if we still hear gurgling before we let it sit overnight. All right, so this is the forklift with the FLIR camera. We'll check out this battery. Definitely got some hot spots of 90 degrees Fahrenheit. I still hear the gurgling sound. Let's see if the... Take the cover off. This is the plastic cover to one of the lead jumpers. I did call my dad, who's an old, old school electrical engineer guy. And he uh, recommended that I just disconnect all the battery cells from each other. But looking at these battery connections, they're actually cast lead that seems to be welded on to the battery post itself. So it would like take a lot of time with a sawzall or something to actually disconnect these, these bus bars. So I figured I'd just not do that and uh, just let it kind of simmer down basically. So, yeah, so my temperature is 95 degrees and the battery is 90 degrees where background is 81 degrees. And then outside that's the garage door it is like 70, 71 degrees outside. And here we got this battery that's at getting up to 89 degrees. Let's see what the back side looks like. Yeah, the whole thing is just definitely hot. Relative to the and it's still bubbling. But actually it's slowed down on the bubbling. I think it stopped bubbling. We got the, the robot running over there with April working on it. Anyway, I think it's chilled out. Pun intended. <laughs> Alright, it's the next morning and the shop is still here. The battery is still gurgling, actually. But not as bad as it was last night. So I think I'll plug it in. And... Hey, ready, Scott. Ready, Mr. Spock? All right, go. Let's see what happens regarding uh, the discharge uh, rate. <laughs> Did do some oiling of the of the mast while I was running it up and down last night. Okay, I'll flip the key on, and yeah, we're still at. <laughs> Still got a charge on there, even though the battery is still gurgling away in elevated temperature. Huh. All right, well, maybe I'll just let this thing sit for a while. And then the mission is to install these new lithium ion batteries, which basically has the same capacity as this huge 3,000 pound battery that we have in the forklift. Um, but those only weigh maybe 150 pounds to 200 pounds total. Anyway. But I do need to keep the old battery in the forklift because the forklift requires this weight, this 3,000 pounds as part of its ballast so that you don't flip over when you pick up 7,700 pounds on this side. So anyway, new uh, episode is coming where we build a steel enclosure for these lithium ion batteries to basically sit on the back perch of the uh, forklift. And this old lead acid battery will just be dead weight. 
I think I'll unplug it just to make sure we're good. All right, well, thanks for watching Dragonfly Engineering on this short emergency forklift battery episode. Ship out of danger. Yes. Thank you.